There are so many ways to perform dead bugs and supine-based core exercises. I love working on eccentric control or strength through length. In this variation, I'm inhaling and reaching, lifting my shoulder blades up off the ground. So a little bit of a crunch as my shoulders lift off the ground, my pelvis kind of rounds underneath me and do a little posterior tilt in that inhalation and then exhale as I extend. The arms can be a little bit straighter here, but I don't have that full range of overhead flexion. So in this position, when we extend, we want to watch that we don't kind of lift that kind of mid back area up off the ground and flare through the rib cage like so that's kind of a quick way for us not to really feel that whole abdominal wall and it's not going to feel so great you can place a towel or a band underneath that spot in the back which can be a good point of reference here as you advance to that variation here is just taking that to a two leg extension, but I'm using the yoga block, which is really helpful for connecting with the abs and the adductors. Two leg extension is much harder, especially if you're in a little bit more of an anterior tilt. Um, I would work on the one leg extension first. It's taken me a while to get here, but I find the yoga block super helpful. A progression for this is kind of doing that kind of crunch to roll down, which you might see in the gym a lot where you're holding up and kind of crunching up. It took me forever to actually be able to round through my low back like that and inhale in that position and then exhale to lower. I still add the yoga blocks. I think it's really helpful for connecting with the deep abs. These are just a couple progressions and maybe a fun way to spice up your dead butt.